like a bachelor's or, or something like that, a, a degree, and, and they can practice what they're studying. But as far as you put in your email, it's just like an English language studies. So I really don't know what type of work authorization she could get doing this, pursuing this, this, those type of studies. And the right person to answer that question will be the international student advisor at the school. But you are right. They cannot automatically automatically just go to work without, but there are ways to, and then, you know, just she should or he should change status to a working visa if they want to work only for you. I mean, now, if they have a working visa and they want to go and take classes, English classes in the night or in the evening, they can do that, but that's not like having an, a, a, you know, they will have to have a working visa with you, and then they could maybe, they don't need a student visa just to take a couple of English classes, but, but they do need a working visa to be able to work for you in the United States, or a work permit if she's, or he or she's pursuing a, like a, like a master's, I mean, a, uh, studies like bachelor's. It is, we need to ask the person, and we will need to ask you, and then together we, we could come up with the best option on what visa or whatever she can or he can pursue. You know what I mean? It's, it's, you know, it's a little complicated. And I don't know. I, I think I think you are an American citizen for what I'm listening. Like when you talk, maybe you maybe um, uh, when per person or the employer is an American citizen and maybe they didn't have like to do to go through immigration processes by themselves or something for some reason they don't know what type of process are is involved in getting a visa or something. So it's a good thing that you come for a consultation because it's not there's no compromise or anything. It's just a free consultation. And then you can get a better idea. I see. Okay. You know? Sure. You want to make an appointment? Um, Maybe next week. We are open from Monday to Friday from 9 to 6 o'clock. I mean Monday to Friday. I need to get together with the student who, you know, the potential future worker to find out what his schedule is. So when I have that information, I'll come back to you. He's going to be going on vacation, taking a leave of absence, and he, he's, he's very busy right now. So when he comes back from Bangladesh, okay. I, I can recontact you. No problem. You can do that. You can send us a new email or you can call us if you want to, you, to give you our phone number or you want me to reply to your email with